Hello guys, uh, today in this video, we are going to discuss about the IV characteristics. In metal semiconductor junction or the circuit diode. So in uh, one of the videos, we have already discussed about um, the circuit barrier diode or the metal semiconductor junction diode. So what is the behavior, or what is the energy band diagram and all other variables associated with this metal and semiconductor heterojunction or circuit barrier diode. We discussed about vacuum level work function, electron affinity, um, the barrier height, circuit barrier height, built-in potential barrier, all those, the relationship between them. Today, we are going to discuss uh, in this video, the IV characteristics, basically at zero bias, We'll start with zero bias. So um, let us start with the um, energy band diagram that is the vacuum level. So this is our vacuum level. Okay, and then we have the metal semiconductor junction, the interface that separates. And then we have this That gives us the electron affinity in terms of energy. We write it as E chi. And then we have the conduction band in the semiconductor side that bends and goes like this. You can revisit the video where we have already discussed. This will be the built-in potential barrier. E, we write it as V, V, I. In terms of energy, we are writing. So multiplied E with the potential. Then we have our Fermi energy level in the metal and the semiconductor side. So which is in equilibrium, E, F, M. And this is E, F, S. Now this factor E phi n, which is, which depends upon the doping concentration, of course, and this is the barrier height. We said E phi b n, just right this way, and this is the metal work function in terms of energy E phi m. This way we can write. So these are the parameter we have already discussed. So at zero bias, this is the condition, right? And uh, the current that will flow from semiconductor to metal will be in this direction. Semiconductor, this is the semiconductor side and the metal side. So ISM, right, in this direction. And the metal to semiconductor current in this direction, right? So in both the sides, the concentration of negative charge here, you got the metal, so negative charges, so negative charges over here. Okay, this will move in this direction and negative, you know, here in N-type semiconductor, if you are considering, there are also the majority charge carriers as the negative, so it will go this way. Opposite to the direction of the flow of electron, we have considered the direction of the current. Okay, so here ISM be the current from semiconductor to metal and IMS be the current from metal to semiconductor. Okay, so ISM is the current carried by the electron flowing from semiconductor over the energy barrier into the metal and ISM is not because of the diffusion of electrons, but because of the thermionic emission. So basically, the current that is from the semiconductor to metal is not of diffusion because metals already are having many electrons. So this um, uh, flow of electron or the current ISM is not because of the diffusion of electrons, but because of the thermionic emission, right? So ISM uh, can be calculated by using the thermionic theory. So basically what we are going to do is using the thermionic theory, um, and the electron concentration, which is known. So electron concentration, we have already done this. NC, effective density of states, 
in the conduction band exponential e to the power minus of e minus ef revisit the previous videos we have already done this derivation of this n and p using nc and M nv effective density of states in the conduction band and valence band so we can write this n where nc we have already determined this as well two times this is given as 2 pi effective density uh, sorry effective mass of the electron mn star k t divided by h square whole to the power 3 by 2 this is the value of effective density of states right and the other values that we know e minus ef here okay that is e minus ef here we consider to be e phi bn this value e minus ef that is e phi b n okay so this is the value now if i will substitute for e minus ef here e minus ef we got this e phi b n right so we can write this n concentration of here electron concentration can be rewrite as n is equal to nc exponential of minus e phi b n just substituting minus of e minus ef Right, so E minus EF is this E5 BN. So we substituted E5 BN over KT. Right. <clears throat> so this is what we got for N. Okay. Concentration of electrons in terms of the barrier height. Right. So now the general expression for ISM we can write. Let us. Clear this so we can write the general expression for ISM. Okay, so basically, this ISM current from semiconductor to metal can be written as the current density multiplied with the area, right? As we know, the current density is given by volume charge density rho multiplied with the drift velocity. So dn we write it, okay. So that can be written as this rho is the volume charge density that is given by minus en concentration of electron multiplied with the electronic charge and this is v dn the drift velocity we got or now we can substitute over here for j s to m this one. So we can write it as area and whatever we got minus e right and n and here as i said it is thermionic emission so instead of drift current we can consider drift velocity we can consider the um, average thermal velocity of the electron okay so we will write it as suppose ut so u for the velocity and this is thermal velocity i'm writing it as ut so n is the concentration of electron ut is the average thermal velocity of the electron so the thermal electron velocity in one dimension we can write this way ut the thermal velocity average thermal velocity can be written as minus square root of 2 kt divided by pi m n star we will derive this one in some other video so this negative sign is due to the electron velocity from the semiconductor to metal. So negative x-axis, that's why we considered it to be negative. So ut is equal to minus square root of 2 kt divided by m n star. So I can write this value of semiconductor to metal current as substituting all the values minus, we got this e n a as it is and sub substituting for the value of thermal velocity, which is minus square root of 2 kt divided by pi m n star okay so that gives us e a n square positive values 2 k t divided by pi m n star right so this gives us the semiconductor to metal current okay so semiconductor to metal current we got now, if we assume here, because we are considering the thermal velocity of electrons. So if you assume half of the electrons move from semiconductor to metal side, because thermal velocity is random, right? So as we are considering UT here, 
like you no know, depends upon temperature temperature is the only parameter that we control so there is a probability that half of the electrons moving from semiconductor to metal right so that we using the probability of movement of the electrons half of the electrons from the you know semiconductor to the metal side we can reintroduce rewrite this value with multiply by multiplying 1 by 2 to it right so we can write this way ism with that correction using the probability because we are considering thermal velocity can be rewritten as 1 by 2 e a n and we have that square root of 2 k t divided by pi m n star yeah so the half of the concentration of the electrons we considered so this n is n by 2 you can say or just half multiplied with the previous value that we wrote considering the probability that half of the electrons move from semiconductor to the metal side okay now we can substitute the value for n that we have already uh, written 1 by 2 we got e a n and for n we got n c exponential of in terms of phi b n we have written minus e phi b n divided by k t this is the term and multiplied with on uh, this 2 k t divided by pi m n star okay so now we can again substitute the value of n c all together like now okay let me write 1 by 2 e a and the value of this n c is 2 times um, we got 2 pi mn star kt. You need to revisit to see why this value nc is substituted like this. Okay, 3 by 2 exponential e to the power minus e phi bn divided by kt and the thermal velocity which is 2 kt divided by pi mn star. Whole root this is okay, like this. Yep. So solving, simplifying, we got this to be A times 4 pi E mn star. Check this K square. Okay. And divided by we got H cube. Okay. This whole thing multiplied with T square exponential of minus E phi B n divided by K T okay this is what we got so finally we can just write it this whole thing bracketed the 4 pi e mn star k square divided by h cube we can consider it to be a constant okay and we will write it as richardson constant so finally we can rewrite the current semiconductor to metal current that is ism can be written as a r t square exponential of minus e phi b n divided by k t right so that we can write okay so where this r is equal to or we substituted for this value 4 pi e m n star k square divided by h q so we call this richardson constant for organic emission okay this way we can write so this whole thing can be considered to be i zero okay so this a r t square exponential of minus e phi b n by k t which is i zero we considered so for zero bias there is no current so the net current is zero and that's the reason we can write metal to semiconductor current plus semiconductor to metal current is equal to zero. Okay, that means if I want to write metal to semiconductor current is equal to negative of semiconductor to metal current which is minus i0 because we have already calculated considered this ism to be i0 which is given by art square exponential of minus e phi bn by kt okay so basically we can write at zero bias 
the metal to semiconductor current can be written as minus I0, which is minus ART square exponential of minus E5 Bn divided by KT. So in zero bias, when there is no current, metal to semiconductor current must be equal to semiconductor to metal current. Using thermionic emission theory, we could calculate the value of current that is flowing from semiconductor to metal. And accordingly, we can write metal to semiconductor current will be just opposite. So this is how we can uh, write for uh, the current, I mean, semiconductor to metal or metal to semiconductor current at zero bias. In the next video, we will discuss about the current in forward bias condition for a metal semiconductor junction or a square circuit diode and the reverse bias. Okay, the current in the reverse bias condition. Okay, thank you for watching.